What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know that a lot of beginner intermediate strikers want to know what the best combos are for boxing. Today I'm going to show you guys three of my favorite combos for sparring that seem to land pretty much every time. But just because they work for me doesn't mean they'll work for you. So keep in mind you may have to make small adjustments on these combos I show you if you're going to try them in the gym and expect them to be as successful as they are for me. So three combos that land almost every time guys that is what we're talking about today. All right guys, boxing combos. We're talking about things that work for me over and over and over. Now, obviously, if you throw the same combination 10 times in one round, people are gonna start to pick up on it. So I need to be creative. I need to move around. I need to throw maybe combos that I wouldn't normally throw. But then sometimes I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to my set combo. I don't do it too often. And there are times you have to make adjustments in between. Like if I jump in and have a set combo I'm gonna throw and I, throw my jab and the guy moves, obviously I have to stop. I can't keep going. But assuming when you step in, the guy just holds his ground, he shells up and tries to block, these combos always land at least one or two techniques for me. And we are going to start today with the bread and butter, the easiest one to get down, and that is stepping in, jab, cross, hook. The final one is obviously to the body. This one lands so often for me. Now the reason it lands is because as people see the jab cross come, most of them let their hands rise up, which exposes the stomach. The trick to this is a lot of people try to throw the jab cross hook and they lean. They lean their head forward instead of moving their feet. So they're out here, they go, okay, one, two. Then they go to throw their body shot and there's no power on it. So they get countered because they didn't hit hard enough to make this guy tighten up for a moment. So remember the footwork is key. I start from the outside, I push myself into range. I go one and two, probably off the guard. If I land to the head, that's even better, but probably off the guard, I expose the stomach. I have my body completely wound up. Now I unwind it for a good power shot. And then right away, I generally will exit unless I see them stationary and not making any moves. And then I will continue. But again, I move forward one, two, three, a mistake that a lot of people make as well as they go one, two, and then the timing of the third punch is too slow. It needs to be just like throwing jab cross hook. One, two, three, one, two, three. Work this combination, guys. It's something for me that has made a world of difference in my sparring capabilities. All right, guys, our next combo also involves a body shot. It is setting up with a double jab. The double jab for me works very nicely. It's not so much a landing technique. It's getting, again, people's arms to raise up. So I move in, one, two, and then slap down to the body with the cross. But I don't finish there because sometimes they get an elbow down. If they get their elbow down, then I come up to the head and then I exit. Full combo again, double jab, cross low, high hook. One more time, one, two, three, four. A couple points on this one, a couple mistakes that people make, things I don't want you to err on, is once they throw their double jab, they keep their head right up here. If I keep my head high, I'm open to the counter, so I have two choices here. Number one, after the double jab, is to get my head off the center line. If I get my head off the center line on the body cross, then if they go to throw a counter shot, I'm not even there. The other alternative, if you wanna be just a tiny bit faster and you don't wanna worry about moving your head and bending your knees, is just to go one, two, and keep your chin tucked and get that shoulder into your jaw so you are relatively protected. Either one works and then I follow with the big hook. I come in one, two, head off the center line and then up to the head hook or one, two, chin tucked, shoulder up, and then up to the head hook. Another combination that is just so successful for me time and time again, usually for me, two punches off the guard, this one lands, and then the final shot, maybe 25% of the time it'll land, but even if it doesn't land, it's a good exit strategy for me. I touch, I touch, I land, and then I hit, and I'm exiting right away. First two are setups, the body shot is coming down, and then the head hook, whether it lands or not, I get out after landing a nice shot right into the stomach. And guys, the final combination that works super well for me, a lot of times I can actually back people up with it so there is no counter for them, is cross, upper, cross. Now I know what you're thinking, oh that's pretty basic, but there's a couple little things to really add in and make this a more explosive, more effective combination. Now the first one is using this as a counter combo. So if the guy comes forward with a jab, 
The jab's coming towards my head. Generally, we slip to the outside of the jab, but we can also slip to the inside and throw the corkscrew. So my first punch is not gonna be technically a cross, it'll be more of a corkscrew. Right from there, when they go, oh, I just got hit while throwing a punch, they generally go to cover up. Then I bang with the uppercut, which generally lands. Now they're usually completely turtle shelled up. Then I just bang off their guard and then they're gone and they're out of the way. So they move in to hit me. I hit them, I hit them, I knock them back. You can also use this one strictly offensive. If I'm here and I'm moving around, I just step in one, two, three. And a lot of times for me, it's this one that misses. The uppercut will land. And then again, on the last shot, it doesn't matter if it lands or they guard up, they get knocked backwards. One of the reasons they get knocked backwards is because when you land a good uppercut, whether you go off the arms or the jaw, it raises people up, it straightens their back out. If I land a cross against somebody when they're like this, they're gonna be able to stand their ground. But if they straighten up and they're like this and I hit them, they're gonna get backed up. So following uppercuts, with straight punches is very effective. Unfortunately, the opposite way doesn't work as well. I find that right or backhand to lead arm is not as powerful, but if we can come up the lead uppercut to the back cross, generally I knock them backwards and I don't have to worry about any counter shot after. So one more time guys, it's either cross, upper cross, or I wait for them to jab and it's corkscrew, upper cross. One more time guys, each combo very quickly, jab, cross, body hook, Double jab, cross down to the body, head hook, and then cross, upper cross. These are three combinations for me that I'd say, again, 50% of the time will land for me. That's a high ratio. It's a very high ratio. If you're in a sparring session or you're in a fight and you're just like, you know what? I have some go-to combos that will just land for me a lot. You might as well have them. Now, again, if I just use those three and that's it, I'm like, oh, I have these three combinations. I'm gonna win fights with just these. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to sprinkle them in, sometimes 20, 30 seconds apart, sometimes up to a minute apart. But it's nice to have not only your favorite techniques, but your favorite combos that you know work for you very well. So if the combos I showed you guys today are not your favorites, that's fine. Just start working on what you think they are and start drilling your favorite combos over and over. And then hopefully after you do enough bag work or enough pad work, you'll start noticing that these are landing for you in sparring. And then hopefully they will start landing for you all the time in your fights. Guys, if you enjoyed the video today, give it a like. If you haven't already, get subscribed. As always guys, train hard and I'll see you back here soon for another video.